Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to give a calculus tutorial for the shell method. So here we have the graph of the function y equals x squared, familiar parabola. And what we're concerned with is the portion of this graph that lies between the x-axis and the line y equals 4. And we're going to take that parabola and revolve it around the y-axis. So it forms something that looks somewhat like a cup. And what we want is some method for calculating the total volume of that object based only on the definition of the original function. And such a method does exist, and one of them is the shell method. Now, before we go into too much depth about what the shell method is, let's take a look for a moment at a cylinder. With radius r and height h. What we want is some formula for computing just the area of the lateral component of the cylinder. We're not concerned with the bottom face or the top face, just the outside of the soda can, for example. Well, that's going to be the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi times r times the height of the cylinder. OK, and that is the, we'll call it a sub l, the area of the lateral face. And we'll see why that's relevant in just a second. Now, let's go back to our parabola here and pick some value between 0 and 2. It can be anywhere. Look at the point where that lies on the graph. And imagine tracing the path that that point would take if you revolve this curve all the way around the y-axis. And you'll see that you get a circle. Now from that circle, what we're going to do is create a cylinder by connecting it with the top of this shape. So we'll have a circle that lies in the same plane as y equals 4. OK. Now, if we were to take infinitely many of these cylindrical shells for every single point from 0 to 2, and if we found the lateral area of every one of those, we would be able to combine those to create the volume of the object. And this is essentially the shell method. So let's take a look at this arbitrary shell, which has one of its corners, so to speak, at x equals a. What is the al, or area of the lateral face, of this shell? Well, as we said before, it's 2 pi r times h. In this case, r is just a. So we get 2 pi a, or x, depending on how you want to say it. 2 pi a. And then what is the height of this? Well, the height is this line minus y of x. So that's going to be 4 minus a squared. OK, so that is the lateral area of one of these cylindrical shells. But we want all of the cylindrical shells. So in order to do that, we integrate. Take the integral from 0 to 2. Since it is at the point x equals 2 that the, uh, the parabola y equals x squared crosses the line y equals 4. And then we'll integrate with respect to a. And this is a fairly simple integral to do. All you need to do is distribute this a to both of these terms inside here. And you'll get 2 pi times a times 4 minus 2 pi times a cubed. Then we'll just simply find the antiderivative of that, evaluate at 2 and 0, and you're good to go. My name is Ryan Malloy, and this has been a tutorial on the shell method.